All right, this is gonna be a super quick uh, install video on the Gen 5. Uh, this is a free ride 850 NA on the Backwoods bumper. Uh, I did one on my sled already, as you can see. Uh, now I'm doing, this one's on a turbo. Now I'm doing one on the non-turbo here. Um, kind of started the process already. I hope you guys can figure it out, but took off the side panels Took off the hood uh, There's videos on that already if you if you haven't seen them super simple There's a little plastic piece that comes here. You slide that forward Two bolts here, and then there's these two bolts here They're like uh, t25s unhook your connectors and you undo your intake boot clamp it comes right off uh, then you just take your exhaust pipe off I already took it off as you can see it's over there make sure you get an exhaust spring pull it really helps on, on the NA it's super easy there's only the two springs here and then there's three sp springs on the Y pipe super simple so once you get that all off you want to drill these pre set holes with a 3 16th. Um, you can remove the bumper first, I should say that. These are 8 mil on the bumper. Take those out. There's two rivets here. Drill those out. So I'm going to remove the bumper real quick and then uh, drill these holes out and we'll get right back to that. Alright, so I got the bumper off, the old one off, like I said. There's two bolts here. They're eight millimeter. And then there was a rivet here. Let's see if I can grab this light. There's a rivet here, 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 and here. You have to drill out on the bumper. And then you just kind of slide it out one side at a time. I'm gonna start drilling holes now. Um, if you can see, there is, there are four holes here in the bulkhead that you have to drill. <coughs> For the bumper, um, this is going to be a three sixteenths. So I'll just show you one. I uh, got that one done. Just make sure you do all four. Start them slow. All right. Now that we got the these four holes all drilled out, um, you can kind of grab your bag of hardware here. Uh, this is what they send you along with the bumper. You'll have uh, this little sheet that uh, gives you instructions if you go to their website. Uh, then you'll also get two separate bags. This is going to be for your lower, the, the bag inside the bag is going to be for your lower mounting uh, plate. And then you'll have your two little brackets here and should have four smaller screws with nuts and washers so you want to grab those and you'll put let's see here i forget which way they go i think they go like this yep so this should be the right side that should be the right side and the other should be the left side um you just want to hand tighten everything when you do these and these should be an allen head and that looks like uh, 330 seconds for that uh, looks like on the pictures they're coming from the outside washer and then I believe this was that side yeah that should be that side and then this should be this side so, let's see if I can find the hole over here. A little tight fit, so I'll spare you guys me with me uh, screwing this in. But it should mount like this. I'll show you what it looks like when the hardware's in. All right, so recap. Just got the hardware in on these brackets. Uh, Again, wash from the outside, bolt, washer, nut, 
after the bracket goes on. Uh, just hand tight for now on both sides uh, because you'll want a little wiggle room because we got to slide the bumper in now, which is kind of a pain in the dick. It's not too bad, but you guys kind of got to slide one side in at a time, and it can be a little painful sometimes. So let's see if I can get this. side there's the other side there we go okay so we got that in there and now you want to get the other hardware kind of lined up on it um, and just again hand tight on those as well Okay, so once you got this all fitted up, uh, again, everything's still loose, uh, you want to go underneath and you want to drill out these two rivets here. Uh, I think it says to use a quarter inch. So I'm going to do that and we'll be right back. Okay, I steered you all wrong. Um, before putting the bumper in and uh, hooking up or putting this hardware in. It's a lot easier to drill these out first. So I did one from the bottom. So I just kind of pulled this away. But uh, yeah, definitely easier to drill out the rivets that hold the nose cone out first. So uh, I got one out, you can see, I just gotta work on drilling that one out. So, be right back. Okay. So back to where we were. Uh, again, before you put the bumper in, drill these rivets out uh, one quarter inch, and then, uh, then slide the bumper on. I got the top hardware loosely mounted now, and I'm going to put uh, the, the bigger hardware, which is the same as this, in through these holes here. All right, so we're to the point where we're gonna start tightening up all the hardware. Like I said, we just uh, put these two bolts in through uh, your nose cone bracket that is on your front of the bulkhead here. Drilled two more holes uh, through the nose cone using the bigger hardware to go through those two holes with the nuts. Now we're just going to kind of work our way hand tightening everything, making sure it, uh, everything is all snug. And then we'll move on to the next step after that. Okay, so we have all the hardware, the, the two in the bulkhead here, uh, these two bolts going onto the bumper, and then the four bolts going uh in through the nose cone here they're all tightened to the german torque spec of guten tight and now we're on to the next step is uh where these original rivets were you want to drill a 3 16th hole through those four spots so they're there there and there so we're going to drill those out and uh then we're going to put the rivets in and we're basically done after that. All right, so holes are all drilled out and rivets are put back in. Everything's all tight and that's it. That's, uh, that's how you install a backwoods bumper. Um, of course, you wanna vacuum out your whole mess down there of all your shavings and then put your pipe back on. But, uh, yeah, there it is. We'll get you a, a good clip of how it looks when the hood's on and the wrap's on. But there it is. Hope that uh, helps someone who needed it. Enjoy. Enjoy.